Welcome to my art studio tour. This is located in my house. It's essentially a fancy porch. <laughs> so the temperature in here does fluctuate. I'm going to show you a realistic version of what my art studio looks like after a couple busy months gearing up for the holiday season. As you can see, it's a bit of chaos going on. There is stuff everywhere. There's stuff on the floor. My desk is absolutely covered. And I would say that this is pretty accurate for what happens when I have a couple busy weeks with art shows, arts and craft fairs, that sort of thing. Things just get put wherever I can place them. And that's just the reality of it. Here are some of my paintings. I did a lot of these little paintings for the holiday season and a decent amount of them sold. Some of them are now listed on my website. This beautiful cabinet is a secretary desk that was given to me by my friend Jess. It was her grandmother's. I repainted it so I sanded it down and then painted it the green color. And here it is tidied up a little bit. I really love this secretary desk. I keep my stickers and packaging, some of my packaging in here, not all of it, but my envelopes for just sticker orders are right here. This makes it really convenient. If I have a quick order, I can just go ahead and fulfill it right here at this little station. That was my idea for using this in my art studio was to have a packaging station. So here is the wax melts that I use to close my envelopes. And here we go, more of the, the mess. Oh geez, and there's Lily. Hi Lily. <laughs> so this is my dog, of course. She hangs out in the art studio with me. She's a good girl. Over in this corner, we have a few Halloween decorations that got missed when I put them away. Some fabric, a stack of books that didn't fit in my living room once I put the Christmas tree out, and a ruling cart full of supplies. Here's the corner all cleaned up. It looks a lot better now. And again, the messy, messy desk. Pretty typical. Honestly, my desk stays clean for about one to two minutes. <laughs> I wish that wasn't true, but it, it really kind of is. I clean my desk off and then instantly it gets messy again. So here you can see I cleaned it up. I wanted to make sure I started the new year with a nice clean studio. And I put all of my supplies on this Billy bookcase by Ikea right in front of my desk. I do have ADHD, so if I put things away, I forget that I have them. So by having everything either right in front of me or right beside me, I'm able to actually use them and remember that I have them. This is a little bit of a hack that I use. Oh, there's Midnight. Hi, Midnight. That's one of my cats. I do have two of them. So I find it helpful to just have everything within reach or at least within view. And this is just a stack of canvases back there and panels. And here is my rolling cart. I keep a lot of my supplies on the top level of that. And then the second level has stuff I don't use as often. And the bottom level is mostly filming sort of stuff. Here is a shelf of books that I use for references. A bunch of sketchbooks and a, what's it called? Projector, more sketchbooks. You can see the rolling cart again. And let's go ahead and take a peek inside the secretary desk. I'll show you some close-ups of what is actually kept inside here. So all of my sticker sheets, I do have four different sticker sheets right now. That is something that I want to expand on in the new year is to come up with more sticker sheet designs. I really enjoy creating them and people seem to love getting them. And in these little, these are vintage jewelry boxes. I keep my stickers inside of there. So you can see some of them. <laughs> the Furby one is a fan favorite. And there's some pins as well. And a few more stickers. All of my stickers are waterproof. And you did see this already, but there is one of the stamps that I use and some boxes for packaging. And below this, I have a few different things. 
So this first drawer is all of my paperwork. So I keep all my receipts for my business. And then there's just a stack of random papers. And then underneath that is, um, this drawer has all junk <laughs> in it and a couple wooden panels. So this is essentially my art junk drawer. The next drawer down has a bunch of new stuff. Um, these Micron pens and a bunch of other markers are all new. And these Tombow erasers were actually gifted to me by my friend's old coworker. He was going back to his home country of Korea and asked if anybody needed anything. And I asked for one eraser and he brought me back an entire box, which was so nice of him. And down here we have some finished art projects. Some of these I'm pretty proud of. These blue ones are Sinotype Photography, which is done with a chemical. I took a class with my friend Liz and we had a great time. I absolutely love some of these paintings. I think my favorite is the Bunny Snakeosaurus and the Raccoon. It's really hard to tell. I mean, Tom Nook as a Santa is also really cool. <laughs> So these paintings that are not in the plastic sleeves are done with acrylic wash. And then the ones in the plastic sleeves are traditional gouache. I keep them in the plastic so they don't get ruined. And this is an electric eel that is also a dachshund. So a combination of the two. And then from the Gremlins movie, I have more treckle wooden panels. One day I am going to paint on all of these. I've just been hoarding and collecting them <laughs> for the longest time. But thank you guys so much for watching another video. Um, please like and subscribe.